Hi guys, welcome back. So I hope you saw my uh, review on Lalique White from today, but I'll be doing another review. Uh, and the review I'm doing right now is gonna be a little bit different format from my usual kind of single fragrance reviews. It'll actually be uh, two fragrances in this video, uh, both from Authenticity Perfumes. Uh, and I'll sort of be talking more generally about the, the brand um, and about the scent generally and then talk a little bit about each scent. Um, but, um, you know, so that's how the, the format will go. Now, uh, the reason I purchased these fragrances, Authenticity, is it's one of those brands that uh, I guess, you know, they either send fragrances to reviewers or... Um, you know, it sort of catches a little bit of hype. Um, and I, it's been mentioned uh, quite a bit recently in, in, in other videos by other reviewers. So, um, I, and I was aware of, of the brand. So I really didn't pay much attention to it in the beginning, but because of sort of uh, it popping up here and there nowadays, I decided just to make the purchase. And uh, the main reason I didn't really hesitate to buy it is when I went on their website, um, these fragrances are listed uh, full price at like around $50 for, I, I believe this is a two ounce, yeah, 60 ml, uh, which is a bit expensive, but then it was on sale. And I don't know how often they're on sale, whether you should really always wait for the sale price, but the sale price was, the prices were a little different for each one, but I got Barbershop and Summer Vibes, the latest 3.0 version. Uh, sale prices were around $35, which I thought was, you know, a really safe blind buy kind of price range, right? Even if I didn't like it so much, I thought it'd be worth picking up to review um, to tell you guys about. So <clears throat> there are, what I'm going to say about it is I, I think uh, it's sort of these fragrances have been brought up in lists by reviewers and uh, it seems like, you know, they've, they're all positive reviews. Um, you know, I'm going to say a couple good things and a couple bad things just to give you a heads up uh, about this. Um, I can't absolutely recommend it. Um, I don't think it's, you know, I'm not going to say it's really amazing fragrance. I think it's not bad, right? I think it's, um, uh, it's not bad, but it's not amazing. Um, and we'll get into that. And there are some pros, unique pros with the brand and with the, the scents here. Um, and then and some cons as well. So <clears throat> this is my first experience into a niche, uh, not niche, uh, indie um, brand. Uh, I, I have sampled actually Gallagher fragrances as well, but in terms of buying my, my own bottle. So first let's start with the pro, right? Uh, I think the presentation and you know, obviously you're not buying a fragrance for the presentation, but in this case, um, I you know, that's actually what drew me to the sense because it's a really, uh, I liked it. I liked the presentation, the naming, and the concept. Uh, it's you know part of uh, collecting fragrances is the the fun of right. Um, I don't know the the presentation factors into the fun, and this is a really fun presentation if you look at it. Right, good size bottle, um, good concept, very simple. Right, and I like the juice color. Right, it's of course like candy and really synthetic color, but it matches uh, the barbershop. Right. Um, now with the summer vibes, a little more boring in my opinion, right? It's just, they're all the same bottles, but it's a plain color juice. So I think with Barbershop, that's really what drew me to it. The other thing is, you know, um, when I think of, when I thought of indie house perfumes, I thought you would be, it's sort of a way to get a lot more quality, uh, for the price, right? Um, because these big names like Chanel, you know, obviously there's a markup, right? A luxury markup. And so... That's where I thought really, okay, these things might be hidden gems. Uh, that's where there was a little bit of disappointment because, um, you know, why don't we just get it out, you know, right away. Uh, the scent, there is a uniqueness about these fragrances. Um, it's going to be a bit different from your mainstream designer scents. Uh, they're, they're mass appealing, but they're, they have a different quality, okay? Uh, but the quality of it, so, so I guess that's a plus, right? It's a little bit different and unique. And so it's going to be less boring for you guys who've had smell a lot of fragrances, but it feels a little bit unfinished and a little bit less polished. Uh, and of course that's what you expect, right? These, um, big companies have a lot of money to invest in. Yeah. And when you have, uh, perfumers like Jacques Poche, Francois Demachy, 
obviously, you know, they know how to um, sort of match uh, the the scent to the to the budget that they have, right? And 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 they can work with a smaller budget and still produce really high quality scents. Um, you know, that's why I really like Dior and Chanel, you know, fragrances. But here, I mean, it's a little bit. I hate to say this, but a little bit more amateur, right? And and of course, that's what you expect. But it is unique. Um, I, I actually, you know, I don't know uh, the person at all. I don't know who's making these scents, but that's just the impression I get. And that's because I'm actually going to wear this one because I do like Barbershop. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's because... Both these fragrances, Barbershop and Summer Vibes, and these are the only two I've tried from Authenticity, they have a little bit of this, uh, well, they don't smell that natural, okay? This, it smells like like a bunch of um, various uh, aroma chemicals thrown into a mix. Um, you know, it's sort of like a lab-created scent. That's, that's kind of, of course, these are all lab-created, right, fragrances, but, you know, that's kind of the feel I get. Uh, you know, I don't imagine the, the ingredients being pulled off the trees or whatever, um, being searched out for. It feels like a very lab scent, a very sterile. Uh, and then they both have this kind of sour element, um, and that has nothing to do with the notes. It, it's just a sourness to the fragrance that uh, kind of drives down the, the, the perceived quality for me. Uh, but again, it not a, I don't want to hate on this entirely. It's, it's not a bad fragrance, right? And there are some pros. Uh, so the next pro, as I'm smelling this, is the, uh, the performance, right? And <clears throat> it is a strong scent with, the, with a fairly good projection, <coughs> uh, especially Barbershop. Uh, you know, they advertise um, that they have, they use a, it's a parfum and they use a 50% oil concentration. I do think that uh, comment, and they put that sort of in bold, you can't miss it really on the website. I do think that that's a little bit misleading in that I'm not saying that it's not 50% oil concentration, but it's not all about the oil concentration, the number. Like I said, you know, you can, you might, you know, you guys know this, right? If you, you, you've smelled eau de toilettes that, that just are so fleeting, right? They're gone right away or their skin scent in the, you know, first few seconds. And then you have eau de, eau de parfums who's per, that perform like eau de toilettes, eau de parfums that perform like extraits. Uh, and so it really depends on the quality and the types of ingredients. And, uh, you know, this, yes, it's uh, strong, but the 50% really doesn't mean much to me, right? It doesn't mean that this this is not like a Nishane fragrance, all right? So Nishane is another one of those that w puts out extraits, uh, but it is you know, miles ahead of, of this in terms of the potency, uh, how it feels, right? The richness. This still feels like um, very chemically kind of scent. Uh, so, the you know, I wouldn't really make much of the 50%, just so you guys know. Um, but the performance is better than, than many scents just because it's strong, right? Uh, so it's gonna, for me, I think they're saying it lasts at least 12 hours, all their fragrances. For me, it was more like a, eight to ten hour um, performance I hate to put numbers on, on things but you know fairly good performance right really good performance so that's not an issue now the scent so this let's talk a little bit about the specific scent so barbershop uh, I think is interesting it's they do a good job they they really um, you kind of achieve what they're trying to achieve with the scent right and the name barbershop it literally smells you know like you walked into a barbershop right where you're walking out of a barbershop after they've applied this kind of uh after shaves and, and shaving foams that's that sort of stuff um it has that uh you know the creamy kind of lavender at the same time, I find that the shaving uh, foam types of smells are sharp and, uh, of course, they almost have a spicy, peppery quality and you get that in this fragrance. Now, they, I believe, list uh, also uh, notes like fur and I, I can smell sort of what they're, tr what they're describing. Um, it's not a really, like, natural kind of smelling fur, but there is a, a aromatic kind of 
fresh uh, tree-like smell that, that I find enjoyable in this. Yeah, there might be actually um, a little bit of nutmeg and uh, some spice. Uh, so let me actually take a look, pull up the notes. Uh, okay, so uh, I had to refer to the notes and yes, that the what sort of I think made this unique for me and, and uh, I um, the thing that I picked up that was kind of uh, the X factor here is this basil. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, basil, um, whenever I've seen it used, it's, it's used in kind of fougeres. It really goes well with uh, the fern smell, right? Uh, and, you know, it, it has a, uh, adds a little bit of a more masculine quality, I think, to barbershop type scents. Um, so there is basil here, which is really nice. So you get sort of this, um, yeah, herbal kind of feel. Um, and, and I think, you know, when I said it has a spicy element, sometimes, uh, as you may know from cooking or smelling herbs, um, sometimes herbs, right, uh, even things like lav lavender, uh, have a sharpness to them, right? They're very, um, you know, in contrast to woods, you know, herbs are a little bit uh, cleaner, but also sharper, sometimes have an almost astringent feel in addition to the really strong uh, aroma that they put out, right? And I think that's sort of what I'm picking up, this kind of strong basil um, as a almost culinary feel. And, and I think most people will like this as a barbershop scent if you're looking for a barbershop scent. But again, the, the whole scent is really kind of limited by the, uh, the sour quality that I mentioned in the very beginning, uh, which I don't like so much, right? It doesn't have the feel of a really high quality scent. Uh, it's a nice smelling, you know, good performing scent, but not a high quality smelling fragrance. Um, they're going to list uh, notes, I think, in, in the base, like patchouli, cedar, musk, um, nut, oak moss, nothing surprising there. Uh, you know, none of those kind of individual notes are, uh, I think, important to think about necessarily here. It's really about, um, think of a fern-like smell, right? Barbershop scent uh, with the strong basil note. Um, they describe mouth-watering lemon, but again, that's just completing the overall barbershop scent. It's a really typical barbershop scent. I do think uh, uh, at the barbers from, you know, thinking about similar scents at the barbers from Maison Margiela replica uh, is better. Um, it smells a bit smoother, less sharp, less sour. Um, so with summer vibes, um, this obviously uh, is kind of a fruity, playful scent. Uh, I'm not going to spray it. I don't really enjoy wearing this too much and I'll, that I'm being completely honest. Uh, but maybe some of you will like it if you really you have to really be into fruity scents and I don't like fruity scents in general you know I've I think uh, I talked about Mancera Sicily before and um, I, I didn't really say good things about it um, I, I thought it was overhyped uh, I don't really like that fragrance and and you know I don't really like this fragrance for the same reason but but if I had to pick a fruity scent, I would pick another fruity scent. Um, uh, there's one I tried recently, I can't think of. Um, but anyway, I would even pick Sicily over this. Um, something like, you know, something from Mancera, right? Uh, you know, or, or I, I would pick another fruity scent. But here, again, uh, I kind of mentioned it feels like the whole, all these scents kind of feel a little bit chemically and astringent. Um, acidic is a, sort of the best way to describe it. This one because it's a fruit-based scent, they list a bunch of notes, mango, peach, and all that. I get, I get almost like a, a sour orange kind of feel too, like a blood, maybe, you know, blood orange, grapefruit. Um, you know, not necessarily a juicy, ripe mango, right? There's, it's a very sour, acidic smelling fragrance. And so, if you, you know, if you're okay with that, then you might try this, but I think that there are better fruity scents out there. Um, things that are a little bit softer, more mellow and more rounded. Uh, here, it's very, very kind of chemically acidic. Um, everything's sort of thrown in there. Like I said about, you know, these fragrances in general. You know, in summary, uh, I think, you know, I really want to like it. You know, I, I, I really, in general, outside of fragrances too. I like independent things, right? I, and I like, um, you know, I want to support these people and, and I, I find there are a lot of hidden 
gen products, uh, you know, wh when people are creating things independently, things from Kickstarter. I like that. Um, but here, it's they still, I think, could improve um, on these scents. Um, and I wouldn't pay $50, certainly, for these. If you can get it at $30, $35, uh, worth a try. And if you were to try, I would go with Barbershop. I think this one is... Uh, oops, okay, out of focus. But this one is nice, um, worth sampling or trying. Uh, maybe get the sampler pack, actually, uh, and, and start with that and see if you like the brand and, and any of the fragrances um, rather than a full bottle. But Summer Vibes, not a go for me, not a recommendation. Um, you know, let me know if there are other scents from Authenticity that are better, worth trying, or, uh, you know, let me know if you think I'm just kind of hating too much on it. But, but again, um, just giving you my honest opinion, uh, I would sort of try many other fragrances before getting here. Um, it's not really, you know, an amazing kind of find or hidden gem. Yeah, so that's all I have and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.